Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God. Five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, reading today 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 31, where God says, now remember, he's talking to Christians, for if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. In other words, we better take God seriously. The context of what he is speaking of is Holy Communion and treating it as if it was a light thing. And by doing that, inviting the judgment of God, because God takes it seriously and he expects us to, as well, it is a very sacred thing to take part in. So we better take it seriously, and in general, just think about what you're doing. In general, think about what your mind is dwelling on, what you're thinking about doing. And if you find yourself desiring to do something that you know is unbiblical, pray to Almighty God immediately. And have him help you change the direction of your mind. If something goes against the word of God, don't think about it. Certainly don't do it. And that's what he's talking about when he says judge yourself. Do these things. Judge yourself. Because if you judge yourself, well then God's not going to have to judge you. If you avoid sin... God's not going to have to punish you for that sin. And I know Jesus has taken the eternal punishment for the sins of Christians. But there is such a thing as temporal punishment. For Christians, there is such a thing as reaping what you sow. If you sow to the flesh, you're going to reap corruption. It's still there. That's just as true for Christians in this life as it is for those who reject Christ. So judge yourself. Stop it before you start it. When you, st- you know, the Bible says, "As a man thinks in his heart, so is he." So if you start thinking about something that is unbiblical, then stop thinking. Change your thought pattern. Think about Jesus. You know what I find can be really helpful? It's just repeating the name of Jesus. Ah, Moret, that's a New Age mantra. No, just. Stop it. It is not. The Bible says you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. So don't tell me that's a a, a form of new ageism. I'm keeping my mind stayed on Jesus. And by repeating the name of Jesus, pretty soon I start thinking about the cross. I start thinking about the Garden of Gethsemane. I start thinking about his miracles. I start thinking about his goodness and his teachings and his resurrection and everything else. And then you know what happens? I stop thinking about the bad that I shouldn't be thinking about. And then I have peace. And because I have judged myself, God does not have to judge me in that case, see? Remember this. We escape the eternal consequences of sin by receiving Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And we escape the temporal punishments and consequences of sin by avoiding it in our daily lives. Judge yourself so that God does not have to judge you. Study all of God's word with me at the scripture verse by verse website, and that's found at the Bible verse by verse.com. There you will find four complete series going through the entire Bible verse by verse, going on five. So choose, click, and listen. That's all you have to do if you'd like to be a part of scripture verse by verse. Pray for me in God's word. Do it right now while you're thinking about it, while it's fresh in your mind. Write a note. Pray for Mike. Pray for God's word. Keep praying for me, you see. Makes you a big part of this ministry. And when you take a break from studying with me at the Bible, verse by com, go to the front page, click the donate button, prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. Makes you a big part of this ministry as well. Thank you.